Hello and welcome to the violent end of Duncan Malvane. A Thief 2 fan mission by Nicked. Uh, before we begin, I should read the uh, briefing. I had been planning to break into the manor of Lord Duncan Malvane for some time, since the old goat was in possession of the world's largest diamond, the Star of Seraphine. A score like that would set me up for a long time. I thought I had all the time in the world to carefully gather maps and information before I made my move. Unfortunately, someone decided to kill Lord Malvain, and there's no telling whether or not the diamond will still be in his vault once the will has been read. I was all ready to give it up as a missed opportunity when my friends put me in touch with a mysterious stranger who claims to have been a close friend of Duncan Malvain. This fellow kept his face hidden and his voice low. I guess it wouldn't do for members of the aristocracy to be seen associating with ruffians like me. However, what he had to say intrigued me and the bag of gold he gave me intrigued me even further. He believes that Duncan was murdered by someone in the household, one of his family, or maybe a servant or regular guest of the house. He wants me to break in and see if I can find out who among them committed the murder. Apparently he's due to visit the household tomorrow for the funeral. Once I find out who the killer is, I'm to leave a sign by illuminating a painting of the guilty party in the mansion's portrait gallery. My mysterious benefactor claims to have enough influence over the family to ensure justice is done, and he's provided me with a detailed map of the place. Whoever he is, he seems hell-bent on revenge and has nothing but disdain for the rest of Mal Malvane's family. He couldn't care less if I steal the Star of Seraphine, as long as I can tell him who killed his friend. Still, this job could bring a lot of heat my way, so I'll see if I can frame someone else for the theft while I'm there. This'll be a challenging job, but with the diamond and the money I'm getting for revealing the murderer, it'll be worth the risk. Uh, difficulty is the same. Uh, prepare for the break-in at Melvin Manor. When you're ready, use your pump door to leave. Well, without knowing much else about the mission, I'm going to go stick with my uh, usual for streaming of art. I'll start with a decent selection of... Uh, Items. Healing potions are always good. At least one for when I, uh, you know, fuck up and take damage, which happens a lot. Spare rope of it doesn't hurt. Now we have moss. So two. I guess mine is probably expensive, but very good. Let's take another couple of flash bombs. And eight water arrows is probably pretty good, but let's take a spare rope. Oh, I did, I did that already. The thought was still there in my head. Broadheads, 12 is, is I'm sure plenty. Shouldn't be slaughtering much, right? If all we're gonna do is make some noise or push some buttons from a distance or something. Don't need more noise makers. Take another healing potion, I could take the gas mine, you yeah, know, let's take the gas mine. And then fuck up on more arrows for the rest. Yeah, that should be a pretty good, uh, pretty good bunch of equipment, I think. Yeah, let's do it. Right, here we are in our uh, apartment. Let's see stuff bookshelf. Got scouting orbs I can't pick up. <laughs> uh, okay, this is just a shortened version of this briefing. Right. Take that. Just make sure we get out. <laughs> Our moves are all good. Better check my map. Oh wow, that's a... Uh, that's an intense map, indeed. Wow. That's busy. Uh, 
a really rich town on that uh, on that map. What do we have here? Entered by the sewers. Entered by the north wall. Is this possible entrances? Enter by the. Oh wait, can I choose? Because these look like switches. I mean, these are probable as well. Enter by the graveyard wall. Enter by the north wall. Enter by the graveyard wall. Sewers. What's this say? Enter by the servant's street entrance. Oh, it's something I can choose. Right, I'm selecting. Well, okay. And that'll that'll start the mission. Like, that's a, that's a really neat. That's a really neat concept. In terms of, uh, I suppose I'll keep that bread, but. Uh, It's a little fiddly the way it's done here, I think, but um, I feel like these would have done better just to have shown text on as soon as you highlight them and not have the separate label. But the idea of picking your entrance, I mean, I don't know much about them except the map, so let's, let's read this, take another look at the map and decide on the entrance. Family and guest list. Melvin family. Duncan Melvin, patriarch, deceased, clearly had at least one enemy. Recent mechanist convert, donated large sums to their order. Drunkard, probable philanderer. Elizabeth Melvin, Duncan's wife, once stern and formidable, now getting old and frail. Raymond Melvin, Duncan's eldest son. Reclusive, but the servants claim he's a sadist with a mean streak. Lucy, Raymond's wife, has a gambling problem and a mean temper. Theodore. Raymond and Lucy's son, black sheep of the family because he's a member of the Watch and an upstanding citizen. Isabel, Raymond and Lucy's young daughter, sent away until the murder investigation is over. Wow, there's lots of these people. Darcy Melvin, Duncan and Elizabeth's eldest daughter, austere, fanatically devoted supporter of the Hammerites. Francis Levitt, Duncan and Elizabeth's second daughter, is famous in aristocratic circles for her drug habit as for her career as a painter of scandalous art. Victor Levitt, Francis' husband, an entrepreneur who made his fortune peddling a miracle anti-aging cream to desperate gullible nobles. Leon Melvin, second son of Duncan and Elizabeth and rumoured pagan supporter, tends the mansion's garden since Duncan had the gardener let go. Total guests, Dorian Thornwood, family lawyer, as corrupt as they come, rumoured to run a blackmail record on the side, links to organised crime. Dr. Terence Graves, family doctor, hope he doesn't put too many people in their graves. Fat, lecherous toad, happy to group serving girls as long as his wife never finds out. Bridget Crawford, the famous opera diva, taking advantage of Duncan's theatre to practice in private. Very high opinion of herself by all accounts. Abraham Turton, devout firebrand Hammerite priest for the family for many years. Unlikely to be thrilled about Duncan's conversion to uh, mechanist persuasion, I suppose. Key servants. Agatha Harkwell, doddery old nanny to the Malvian children, mother of Gilbert Harkwell, often seen at the wayside bear pits. Howard Strickland, butler, drunkard, supposedly has nothing but contempt for his employees. Gilbert Harkwell, captain of the guard, humorless, straight as an arrow. Judith Belcher, cook, recently employed, unable to find any information about her older than a few months. Right. So, what are, what are our options? Enter by the sewers, which comes up in the basement. In the boiler room, I guess it's, it's there. Gives us immediate access. What, is, what are all these numbers? One, two, three, oh, wow, four, five, six, seven. Garrett, careful of these new mechanist watches. Whoever, whoever had, whoever gave us this map is extremely well acquainted with the uh, layout of the house, even even the ducts. What's this arrow here at the bottom? 
Not sure. But the other options are all in from the ground floor. Either the north wall, the graveyard wall, or the servant's entrance. The north wall went to this part here, I suppose. To me, access to the dining room and things, graveyard wall, or the delivery entrance. Ah, security officers. Presumably where we can control the watches and hopefully turn them off, because I do not enjoy having to dodge watches all the time. Vault. Presumably that's where the diamonds can be. Oof. I'm gonna go with I think the sewers because the basement's probably the least guarded, right? Typically that's the way. Well I mean presumably the rooftops of clock tower is the least guarded, but uh We didn't uh, our helicopter is busy being repaired, so we can't enter by the rooftops. Well, let's begin. Later that night. Steal the star of Seraphine from the late Lord Malvine's vault. Framing someone else for the theft will keep the heat off you. Steal a thousand in miscellaneous loot and stash it in the sack near where you started. Then hide the sack of loot in the bedroom of one of the family's guests or servants. Oh, I like that. Ah, uh, that's really good. Steal X amount of loot, put it in a stack and leave in a, in a sack and leave it somewhere. Uh, honestly, I would be pretty happy if that was the only loot goal in the mission. If a as a, as a complete twist on why you're stealing everything you can is just to like frame somewhere else for, for pilfering the place. Um, but we do have to also steal 2200 for ourselves. Still, that's a very cool idea. Uh, it's annoying stashing the sack near where you started, then hide the sack somewhere. It's a little awkward that we would have to come back for the sack, but okay. Search for evidence to find out who killed Duncan Melvin. When you think you know who killed him, turn on the portrait spotlight in the armor gallery for the person you think is guilty. Ensure all other portrait lights are off. There's already been one murder in the Melvin Manor. Don't kill anyone else. Well, there you go. Maybe I shouldn't have been uh, playing on hard. I'm not allowed to kill anyone anyway. It pays to be one step ahead. Your employer let slip that he would be arriving at the house tomorrow. Hard to find out who hired you. And then exit the manor by the sewers again. Right, there's the sack. Well, not much of excitement in the sewers. It's it's pretty typical for sewers. Okay, uh, got a bit of a fright scene again out of right there as the Who moment I stepped there? up. Who made that noise? What? There's no noise. Okay, you tap. Oh, maybe I made a clunk, slight metal clank on the edge there. I don't know. That's I didn't hear anything. Ah, stuff that stuff that should be probable that isn't probable. I do not like. Well, this is the boiler. I probably don't want to leave that open. All right. I think the first goal should be to get towards the security room, which is in the west. There's a watcher. Oh my God. Let, how about we try going north of the kitchen and try and find these vents? That should get us here. 
and we only have one watch between us and the security room. Fortunately, unfortunately, that's where the uh, guard also went. Let's make a save. Oh. He's got a sword and a bow. That's that's interesting. I wonder how that's set up, scripting-wise. Well, I'm not about to find out now. Okay, so he seems to be going in a circle. So, I guess he's walking around this way. <laughs> Someone's trying to catch a mouse. A rat. Servants wandering the kitchens. I don't have any money. I see him. Help over here. Shit, I thought you wouldn't see me. That's a bad start already. Good work, Garrett, Master Thief. Hopefully for me, if I'm lucky, they'll just think the uh, servants are trying to shirk their duty again by claiming to see masked intruders <laughs> creeping around. It's very dark in here. Oh, okay, well, this is also mapped. Good. Good. Hello. Gregor's missive, page eight. After that, it seemed good luck to follow me everywhere I went, though the idol itself still filled me with a constant dread. I studied it for hours and found the tiny switch that locked it into its humanoid configuration. I dared not slide it back into the shape I had seen just the once, that ungodly writhing abomination. The coincidences were small at first, but after a while I realized I had luck on my side winning a small fortune every time I played the cards. Accusations of cheating abounded, but the idol's protection kept me safe, always helping me avoid run-ins with other disgruntled gamblers through a series of apparent, yet fortunate, coincidences. I met and married the love of my life, Maria. The idol stayed close as I wooed her, and it felt like our romance was charmed. I kept the idol close by on our wedding day, and it watched the consummation from an alcove in our bedroom. Well, anyway, uh, if the servant there did cause any commotion, it's happening a long way from us now. Alright, so this brings us out down here and we want to head west again. Well, it's not obviously we want to head west again, but it's the hallway there that we've got to watch that we have to be wary of. God, it's quite dark. Can you even see the doors? So, where are we? This is the door to the courtyard. Okay. The door east more heads back to the servants area. This is the door I was wondering about. That was not marked. Oh, hello. Oh, it's, I'm hearing sounds from up above. That's doing. It does sound like there's somebody on the other side of this door that's suspicious. Yeah, somebody is extremely suspicious there. Who? 
I just want to find out where this door goes. We've also got a ladder here. That looks kind of like a ladder, doesn't it? Too was suspicious. Okay, goes out into the get into the grounds. Oh, okay. So it must come out here. All right, no need to worry. But that way we have another doorway we can use it anyway. Got one more room here. Why are there two switches? Two lights, okay. Let's keep them all off. One more room here before we have to worry about the, um, the watch up. Queen of Diamonds. Fake skull prop cut from stone with a faint blood stain on it. Last boy, Yorick. So these are all theatre props. That's right, they mentioned something about him having a. Yes, he's got a theatre, which is, I guess, directly above where we are now. Wow. I'm trapped door in the stage, okay. Interesting. Actually, you know what? That could be a very good escape route. If we happen to be in the theatre and uh, get caught, maybe I should leave it open. Not sure how you get these props up, up above, but. Um, Right, there's our friend. I think I can make a run for it, right? So, just up here on the right. Oh, we've also got guards coming this way. See where he goes. <laughs> hmm, I wonder if there's anything behind this banner. Guard friend had gone around the corner, not into that room there. It sounds like he went into that room, hence why I uh, retreated hastily to my dark corner here. This is not going to be... Well, I was going to say this is not going to be a safe room for us, but maybe it will be okay. What have we got here? 
Deliveries, June 6th. Today's food delivery is signed for by Judith Belcher. Seven tubs of vegetable oil, signed for by, by Victor Lovett. Four bags of salt by Victor Lovett. Batch of advertising posters, Victor Lovett. Anton, you make it sound so simple, but I fear you've rather stumbled upon the problem. You see, all the guards were off at archery practice, and it seems he had sent most of the servants home. Gone are the days when one could simply round such oiks up, as you suggest, and beat a confession out of somebody. The watch is being rather tiresome and insisting on investigating properly, and that means we're all under suspicion. The greatest shame of all is that my son is now a member of the damnable ranks. To think that he could condone them cutting the poor old sot open just to tell us such obvious things as, He was drunk when he died, makes my blood boil. Anyway, love to you and Tiffany. I'm sure this will all blow over soon. Raymond Malvian. Let me remind myself who uh, Raymond is. Raymond is Duncan's eldest son, and I guess Anton is not listed. I guess a friend of his. Wait, did that say all the guards are off? I'm sure we're all off with that archery practice today. It'll be so much easier. Right, so he's going to go back around the corner, and that gives me my window to get to the security room, I think. Yes. What's that? Nothing. Not even locked. So light switch, good. By order of Captain Gilbert Hargwall, the theater has been designated as a crime scene by the City Watch. No one is allowed in until the Watch have finished their investigation. You are accepted from this rule only if you need to enter the theater in the pursuit of an intruder. Mechanical Watcher Security. The watches on each floor of thy mansion run on their own circuit and can only be deactivated from the security room on that floor. Even should the thief manage to access the security room, they would be unable to disable any watches on any floor above or below. In addition, the power level for each circuit has to fail safe. If more than two thirds of the watches on the floor are deactivated, the fail safe shall trip and simply turn them all back on again. Shouldst thou have need to deactivate all the watches at once, the master controls can be found within thy vault. Well, dammit. Here I was hoping we could just turn them all off. More than two thirds. Now there's seven on this floor, right? So. I guess we'll be coming and going from here as we uh, explore. So like if I turn off, say, well, let's see how many. Seven, two thirds is, is four, right? I mean, two thirds six. Okay, we get to turn five off. The sixth one activates the fail set. Okay. So on this floor we can turn five of them off. So, this one's easy enough to avoid. I don't know about any of the others. Let's say we're not going to that to there just yet. So if I turn off numbers one, two, three, four, seven. One, two, three, four, seven. It should make life easier for a little while. You know what? I should uh, actually label these. Even if I mistype security, it's still going to be useful. Alright, guard friend is there. Alright, there's someone through there as well. Well, we need to check out the rooms in this hallway. There's another guard there. Alright, we'll wait for him to come and go, I think. Or maybe just to go. Okay, we can... We can check out these these rooms. Cook Butler Housekeeper. I guess that goes up to the the yard as well. There's a door there, it's the basement. 
So I guess there's a door to the basement there. Oh, I should uh, not use B, right? Because we've got ABC already. Uh, one of the best new dark options is the left aligned text when you type it on the map. It's so good. <laughs> such a tiny thing, but it makes such a huge difference in how he's using I hope he's just not going to comment on the security room door being open. So it would be suspicious. It would be, make sense for it to be suspicious, but. Alright, well, he's going to wait there for a minute. Give me a chance to look around the cook's room. Empty chest that I can highlight but not close. That's weird. I wouldn't say suspicious, it's just weird. Dry wolf's vein. Hmm. Is it relevant that this cook has dried wolf Spain? I don't know, it might be, right? Who knows? Oh, we can turn that lamp off too, nice. There seems to be nothing else. I don't understand this chest. Otherwise, we seem to be okay in here. Wow, okay, some weird room brush to say, because it sounds like the sound is coming from my right, but... Uh... Uh, I don't know how long he stays in there. And look, he did turn the light back on in that room. Alright, we'll wait till he walks past. is still asleep. It's quiet. Another one of the same already open chests. We don't have anything we can steal, so we seem to have someone making noise. Oh wow, they've been hearing doors opening are suspicious. Here we have the housekeeper. I wonder if they'll turn on and wake up if we turn the light off. No. It wouldn't make sense, but you never know. Knitting needles. I mean, we're clicking clues, right? This is a... They really should have given us more than one page of notes, probably. Wayside Bear Pits, Beast Fights, Tuesday 3rd June. Big Bear vs. Gassy Mickey, Sable Demon vs. A Host of Serpents, Furious George vs. Rory, Mountain vs. The Green Screech, Flaming Joe vs. Lord Gouger, Raging Bill vs. The Knife. Bell as well. It's not in the housekeeper, I suppose. Alright, I want to check out the room he's in right now as well. I don't remember. I retreated into it to watch, but I don't remember scouting for loot. And we do have quite a high loot goal, and we have found zero so far. 
I didn't turn off number five, right? So right now, let me just mark the ones of one, two, three, four, seven. So I guess I want to come around here. Well, check out this room. And then when the guard walks around here, we, we can start our actual exploration of the basement. Maybe we should leave this door open so we can dodge in here if we need to. I saw something light up here. No? Oh, I did come in here. I did check this room out. Let's just see this. Anybody here? That brings us to the front. Yes, near the delivery entrance. Okay. In a moat, actually. There's another guard in here, so let's not be uh, reckless. Wait. Oh, because I can hear a watcher, but it's probably upstairs. This one is definitely off. Yeah, so it's quite definitely off. Um. So who comes in here, and from where? I think we have our answer. So that's the door that connects up here. Yeah, this, we've got to be underneath the front gate, so I guess there's another door to basement there. In fact, if I do that, that comes out. That's here, in the moat, rather than out actually in the front yard. So let's just see where this guy goes. So we have an awareness of his patrol route. <clears throat> He just walks around in a circle. This is quite a fancy. There's that guy coming. Quite a fancy staircase for leading down into the basement, honestly. Well, it's an important basement, I guess. Okay, so the door we want to go is east door. And actually, oh, we've got missile launchers as well here. Okay. Um, turrets. Let's put it there. Give and jump. Wait. That's the door. He's got one out of, right? Yeah. Okay, we've got another turret. Where are we? Ah, right. Also, a watcher and turret combo. That's fine.
don't think there seem to be any guards around here. There we are. Oh, small loot. I must have got a piece and forgotten about it. 32. 47. Oh, we're going to need a ton of loot. This is all small change. It's just a storage room. I guess the guards don't patrol here, or they don't need they're not needed if the if the watchers are here, right? Question mark. I don't understand the question mark. Why would, why would you draw a question mark on the map? In... Oh, it's not a question mark. That's two. Watch number two, you fool. Why would you draw a question mark? Hello? Seven of spades. Is it important where these are found? Seven spades, and this is under the theatre, right, where we found the Queen of Diamonds. I don't know, it might be important. I have no idea what these cards are all about, but... Uh... There's a window here that faces... the wine cellar? Yep, there's the watch, the wine cellar watcher. <coughs> oh shit. God, they heard something. <coughs> Uh, I don't feel safe in here. Uh, looks like nothing. Is he just is he just standing there, or is he going to be moving? I don't want to waste a moss if I don't have to, but. So. Might want to put out the torch in his room now to give myself a little more darkness. Can I get it from here? Not like that. I should not reload for wasted stuff, you know. Old habit. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's, that's a, that's a really terrible bug. Look at that, the watches have come back on. I turned them off, I hit save, and they're on again. Oh, I did not like that one bit. And it looks this way. Uh I'm slow. <sighs> right, I I'm extremely unhappy about that bug. Or oh, it turns to face the wall, that's bizarre. Does it just rotate 360? I didn't think they could do that.
No, right, let's see. Or was that just a bug that rotated 360 there? <laughs> it went all the way around, I think so. Dang it! Facing the walls is an extremely convenient bug. Do it again, you silly thing. I guess I should have gone taking advantage of it while I had the chance. Well, okay, I know I can get around that one. Little door plane. Wasn't I didn't even think I was leaning into the door. Need, need to follow him this guy out. And that one should not be a problem. Wait, they're all back on again. Right, that's what we did, and I didn't trigger the failsafe. One more, one more triggers the failsafe. So we got one, two, three, four, seven. I'm just gonna do a quick test. Save, load. No, that. What? Why did they turn back on again? I don't understand. Well, let's keep going while they're off. Leave the store open. Did I? I thought I could sworn I closed it. Maybe the guard open? No, the guard's always closing behind. Well, all right. Whatever the situation. Sergeant, as you know, I shall be away from 2nd to the 4th of June, visiting my aunt in Wayside. This is not an excuse for lapses, however. I shall be conducting an inspection of the guard staff upon my return, and I want a full report from you. Make sure the men know that oversight will be reprimanded, particularly Benny. He's on his last warning after the wine cellar incident. And make sure that everyone knows that Tuesday night's archery practice is not optional. I expect full attendance. Captain Gilbert Hartwell. Cheese. Notice to all staff, please be on the lookout for iron playing cards as you go about your duties. If you should find any, please bring them to me. Anyone found to be deliberately concealing one of these playing cards will be severely reprimanded. Gilbert Hartwell, Captain of the Guard. Okay. Interesting, but, uh... Help me much. Right, so this is the guard room. Should I, should I make a note where the guards are as well? Eh, no. I see he comes here to watch the hallway. Look, the wine cellar door is open. Is that suspicious? I don't think it's suspicious. Do you think it's suspicious? Must are okay. Two of clubs. 
probably not relevant when we find these, but uh, oh, I don't. There's got to be a reason for them, right? You know what? I'll leave you to your thing there, because this guy's gone. So we should be clear to go into the wine cellar now. Alright, let's keep the lights off. I keep the noise low, but I'm not gonna fully creep all those crap for. So that's the eastern door into that same hallway, yeah. Where we know there's a guard that patrols. Hello? Lamp for vineyards. I'm not gonna make note of that. Lamfort Vineyards in the in the wine cellar. If we have a need to investigate Lamfort Vineyards wine, it would be obvious to come to the wine cellar to check out the barrels. I think like, there's a tart here as well. So a lot of the watches are paired with turrets, which is the least oh, well, fun kind of of uh, turret. Probably don't need to mark the turrets. So nothing else in here? Nothing that I can see, alright. The guy goes in there, but does he come out of there or does he walk around? Oh, he goes out of there too. Another watcher. Number seven. Oh, we're getting wrecked around. That's the. Yes, okay, so we know that. We know the guard. So we have to check out the kitchen, which I have not been through yet. We can come around here to the servants. Right, so I know where we are. So I know that we're safe to go here. You know what? Let's take the cheese without setting off the trap this time. I'm gonna waste a water arrow here. Diamonds. You know what? I'm gonna use another. It's just not enough darkness to sit in. And there is a guard that comes and goes. At least this way we have access to the dumb waiter. I want to see where the servant tends to wander around to as well. I also don't know where the guard uh, comes in here. I think, yeah, he walked straight through my other patch of darkness. Which is what I was afraid of. That shouldn't go out like that. No, oh, these torches are terrible, aren't they? To eat it, I was trying to grab this one, which is not probable. Okay, 
What's this say? Reminder, I shall be away from Saturday, 31st May, returning Wednesday, June 4. Mrs. Harper will be in charge of kitchen duties until I return. All prepared food is clearly labelled in cold storage or the pantry. Alright, there doesn't seem to be anything over here. Back to our corner. Alright, anything at the fireplace maybe I should be trying to grab? No. There's lots of knives. There's a knife missing from the rack. I don't remember what day it is. Wow, those cars are just going to clutter up my inventory here, aren't they? Don't give, give me days. Okay, never mind. Wait, who's that I'm hearing? Oh, him. Okay, so the servant can spend quite a long time not here in the kitchen. I'm going to check out this room, but I'm kind of waiting for the servant to come back. It's a little... A little tedious. You know what? Let's play some solitaire. While I wait. Here we are. I win. Played the whole pile of cards. Oh, they're carrying stuff now. Wow, well, okay, they went they went to town on the scripting. Carrots. Sack of flour. That's odd that one of them is probable. So many things are not probable in this mission. When you find something that is, it is suspicious. <laughs> Anything up there that looks relevant? Not really. By re relevant, I mean worth jumping to see. the fireplace. They either put down their sack or the herbs or whatever. There's a knife in the kitchen table. I mean, it's, a knife missing from the rack is not suspicious, right? It's just... It's just the knife they would keep using. What happens if I turn this switch off? You get lights off in the kitchen. That's nice. Will they turn it back on? Okay, that's the way to watch a six, which we have not turned off, so let's not go that way. Um, nicely sorted array of frying pans. Oh, they put the knife back in the rack. Oh, you know what? I'm I'm quite admiring this uh, scripting. They've gone to the trouble of the servant doing stuff. Very nice. Oh shit! What is this room? Uh, I haven't been here before. Okay, we've got servants' quarters or guards' quarters or both. This might be the butler's room. No, it's a guard. Maybe this is the captain of the guard's room. Captain Gilbert, sir! Watch us out your Strickland fellow, just as the instructor. He must go and no mistaken, but sees I know wrongdoing, leastways by city law. Most nights he a sneak out from out yon servant's entrance, and Tuesday be no exception. 
Same destination he made for each time, but it'd be no iniquitous den. Instead, where he says skulking feet take him always to the barracks head in, and hostelry the very same. There he sink himself a goodly sum of ale, and no plotting there be done neither. Always he drink alone, and seem in mood most dourly afflicted. Villainous he may yet be, but I see no sign of it in all my watchings. Want I to keep a spying, another silver piece it be. Remy. Strickland, Tuesday. Was Tuesday the day the guy got murdered? And he was... Who's Strickland? Do we know? How was Strickland? The butler, a drunkard. Right. Okay, so... Captain Hark, well, my late father was always dead set against opening the strange vault that my grandfather Gregor constructed in his madness, even going so far as to rehide the iron playing cards that serve as keys whenever any should be found. But now that he's dead, I see no reason to continue upholding such a ridiculous tradition for the sake of Gregor's insane fear of some curse. I don't believe in curses, and I want to know what's in that vault. If you or your men should find all the iron playing cards, you'll find yourself richly rewarded. Okay, that explains the cards. Oh, we do have two pages of notes. I was going to say, this should, they should have given us two pages of notes, and they did. Very good, okay. That's an important piece of information. Another one of these weird open chests. I, I don't get it. Well, maybe there'll be, maybe we, Oh, I get it. I do get it now. When we've collected a thousand loot, frame somebody. Oh, hey. Where's that connect to? Out this way, I suppose. Guess what's the, that's what the arrow means. We can climb in the window here. When we've collected a thousand loot, we put it in one of these chests to frame somebody. Yes, okay, that. It's a little weird that they're probable now rather than just with the back, but. I mean, it kind of make more sense if they're just empty. <laughs> hope nobody. Hope nobody goes in and out of this room. Well. Harris. <laughs> Swords. Gonna read the note, but it's not readable. Hello. I didn't even see that. I was trying to probably the uh, thing. It was not probable. I just clicked by accident. Went. Okay, servants. So if we go, that door is where we've already been. This is the door, I guess, that we want to explore. Where does this go? Just the cupboard. We have a. Poisoned cheese. No thanks. I'm not ever that hungry. <laughs> oh, that's cool. But uh, we can get, we can see into this hallway and hear the guards going by. Rat poison, burnt. Probably not what killed uh, anybody, but. Uh, Yeah, yeah. So, although we might not need to rec although I could say now we almost certainly do not need to record where I found all the uh, cards, hello. It's just an ordinary apple. Having marked where we find them means if I'm having to hunt for more of them, oh. If I have to hunt for more of them, I then don't need to <clears throat> know which rooms I shouldn't need to search for, right? 
Okay, so that stairway leads up near the banquet hall. No. I don't know. We probably want to check out the theatre next. So... Oh wait, that's, that kind of leads up... Does that just lead up to where we came from? <coughs> I don't understand. What, we've got that connection there. That stair just leads up... Okay, where does he go? Ooh, metal. Empty. Uh, ladder to the ground floor. It's a bad place to go, right? But I just want to check. 42. That's actually a very good access to the ground floor. It's a very good access to the ground floor indeed. Why is there a little... Oh, that's a hatch, yeah. Hello? Craig was missing page 7. As soon as I again reached daylight, the moaning sound resolved itself into the sounds of battle, warped and changed as they echoed into that underground chamber. My men were under attack from an onslaught of the pagan barbarians. They were hideously outnumbered, and it seemed we would all surely die here, fighting to the last. I threw aside my torch and drew my sword. Yet upon seeing me emerge from the temple with the strange idol in my hand, the pagans stopped their assault. They now backed away from us in fear. I realized they were afraid of the idol. So I raised it above my head and roared at them. Their entire force turned and fled in superstitious terror, and soon they had all melted away into the trees. I was hailed as a hero, and the soldiers were enamored of the idol, calling it a good luck charm. I stowed it carefully in my pack, and kept it until we finally returned to the city, triumphant. Very strange room, just a little... I can turn the lights on to search better, right? But I think I've probably got everything. Strange little room. What's strange is that it's at the end of its own bit of hallway. No, it's not that it's a room, it's just story stuff. Alright, well, I'm not quite ready to tackle the ground floor. As I said, I want to go to the theatre, so we'll leave that as a sneak peek, as it were. Good, he's just left the room again. Right. And here's where we came in. Shovel with traces of soil clinging to it. Um... That's not, doesn't say shovel, that's a shovel. I don't know if it's relevant, but I can't really... There's no name on this room, so I can't really put it on the notes page, right? Actually, I can. Which I need to mark the ladders. Uh, what do we want to call this? I don't know. Well, 
plants room. Right. Oh, that's right, we didn't turn that one off. We at least close the door or it gets pretty quiet. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so this theatre is the scene of the crime, so we need to get up there. But that we'll have to wait for next episode. So thanks very much for watching, and I will see you then.